Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our media question and answer time, our time to update the community on what's happening related to COVID-19 in the Eau Claire area, as well as across the state, any updates that we have. Today is Thursday, April 8th. Um, and again, we've been with you for many, many months now talking about COVID-19. We appreciate the time people take to learn and to get the updates that are available. And we're happy to be with you again this week. This week is National Public Health Week. So I would just like to call out an enormous thanks to everybody that does anything across this community to make our community healthier. That does include um, the amazing group of people that work at this health department and have been working hard um, really every day on all kinds of topics that make a difference in our health, including COVID-19, but certainly people across this department that work in all other arenas of health, but also all of the rest of you that are working every day on making this place, this community, a healthier spot. You are all doing public health work. So this week is also for you. So happy public health week, everybody. And remember that we all have an opportunity every day to choose things that will make not only ourselves healthier, but the community healthier. So make those choices today. So our Eau Claire um, update with our data related to COVID-19, we now have 11,311 uh, Eau Claire County residents that have tested positive for COVID-19. An average of around eight or nine cases a day for this past stretch. Our goal again is to stay below that 10 cases a day number um, where we end up having challenges with um, keeping our expansion of disease lower. So again, once we get to a point where we can't work successfully with people staying home to be isolated um, if they are ill and to stay home quarantined in case they were exposed and become ill, we will again have issues with COVID-19. We are um, right now in a decent spot, but we're watching it carefully and we are seeing increasing cases across the region, across the state and in neighboring states. We need to keep watching that. We right now have about 84 individuals in Eau Claire County that have, um, are in um, isolation because they currently have COVID-19. So again, we actively work with all of those people. We need people to answer the phone when our disease investigators call to really talk through how to make sure that you are not um, inadvertently spreading COVID-19 to others. We need that from everybody that does test positive and we need those close contacts to also stay home. We now have 379 Eau Claire County residents that have ever been hospitalized related to COVID-19, an increase of eight more people that have been hospitalized since last week. And now we're still at 105 individuals that have died related to COVID-19. Good news in the work we've been doing the last number of months that our deaths really have not increased in the recent past. And that's what we're hoping for, get the vaccinated population to help protect those that are most vulnerable and really to do the work that this disease does not continue to have the impact that um, it had early on. A couple of other data points for you that we track regularly to really make sure that we are understanding the course of the progression of COVID-19. Our UW Eau Claire cases where they continue to do really solid testing um, with their faculty, staff and on-campus students, as well as their off-campus students and community members. They're at right now, UW Eau Claire cases are about 13% of the total cases since the beginning of this school year back in September. Um, we have 13 active public health investigations and our rating for COVID-19 remains high in Eau Claire County. Again, that's um, having more than 100 cases um, in a two week period and we've had 119 in the last two weeks. So we remain in that high category. We're really hopeful that if we can stay the course with decreasing disease trends, um, that we will get out of that. So we need all your help with that and that continues to be our goal. Our trajectory or how, how much our cases are increasing or decreasing remains flat, but it is growing in neighboring counties and in the region and across the state and neighboring states. That's That concerns us. 
We are working hard together to make sure that that doesn't happen here. But the only way we do that is by everybody pitching in. Get tested if you're a close contact. Get tested if you have any symptoms so that we can make sure that we are not continuing to spread COVID-19 across Eau Claire County. Our positivity rate is 4.1% this week. Again, um, a bit higher than we would like it to be, but um, remaining at a place that we are fairly comfortable with. Although our testing continues to be quite low. So again, a strong reminder to everybody that testing is an important strategy that we continue in this community. Our regional hospital bed space in the most recent past has been good. It's still in the green, but we are hearing concerns recently from our Hospital Emergency Readiness Coalition, which is the group across the region that really monitors how hospitals are doing related to COVID-19 hospitalization. They are raising some um, newer concerns related to hospitalization in Minnesota and um, some potentially increasing hospitalization in the larger region in the western side of the state. So we'll be watching that carefully as well. Community spread remains at 39% or is at 39% this week in the red. Um, again, that means almost 40% of people don't know where they got COVID-19 from. We um, continue to monitor, to monitor how we are doing with getting to cases and their close contacts within that set time frame. We still are struggling with that. We need people to answer their phone. We do have enough capacity to get to everybody within that 24 hours, um, but we need to make sure that people are answering so that we can, again, help support success in this community. And our vaccination um, metric that we track is still in the yellow this week. While we do have everybody able, 16 and older, to get vaccinated, we currently don't have vaccines for those under the age of 16. And we don't have enough vaccine coming into our county to vaccinate everybody in the next few weeks. Please go online if you'd like to learn more about the data that we are tracking and the data that is available. You can go online under the testing data and the case data on our website. So a couple of announcements. Um, again, cases are happening in Eau Claire. Please remember that. I think with all the news about vaccination and all of the excitement about what could be happening next um, with this, um, we still need to take seriously the spread of COVID-19. Um, the reason we have a face mask ordinance locally in the city and the county is because this is one of the many things that we can do to keep each other safer. We need to focus on that and choose that so that we continue to um, keep our case numbers as low as possible. So again, we want to get back to a normal spot. Um, please do those things like wearing cloth face coverings, getting tested if you uh, have any level of symptom or symptoms or are a close contact and staying home when you're sick. We do also really continue to say avoid large gatherings. We also say, please just um, really interact with people that are in your close contact group as much as possible. So as of Monday, everybody over the age of 16 was eligible to get a vaccine. Um, it's important, so age 16 and over, um, those 16 and 17 year olds are able to get the Pfizer vaccine and then the other two vaccines that we have available to us now in the US, anybody 18 and older can receive. It's an important step forward to have everybody able to get in. My children this week, at least two of them, did get vaccinated of the four. And that's exciting for me as a mother to have at least um, two more people in my immediate family vaccinated. So good news. Um, all of our area vaccine providers are on our website. So remember, if you're an Eau Claire County person and you need to find a place to get vaccinated, go to COVID19EauClaire.org. If you see right on the top of the page, it says vaccine appointments, you hit that button and there are all of the vaccinators um, that are currently available in Eau Claire that have vaccine. They may not all have appointments and do know that as appointments are available, they are getting vaccine in arms, um, but we continue to have challenges with getting enough vaccine in this community, even though we have vaccinators ready and able to do that. 
We do have appointments with healthcare partners. And again, if you have a healthcare provider that you are seeing, especially if you are having an underlying condition, we do encourage you to look for appointments with that healthcare provider. On our website, you look for the system um, that they are connected to. You click on that system and you will see their method for getting vaccinated. Each of the systems has a different way and a phone number as well as a web link. And we encourage you to use that site, especially if you're connected with a healthcare provider and have any underlying conditions. We do also have pharmacies in the area that are getting vaccine, both directly from the federal government as well as through the state distribution system. And then we are also, as a health department, continuing to get vaccine that we get out um, through targeted efforts that we are doing with um, some of our most vulnerable populations, but also now newly in our mass vaccination location that is now at Zorn Arena, which I'll talk about in just a minute. A couple of reminders, vaccine is provided at no cost to the individual at any site that you go to if you are going just for vaccination. Vaccine should not be at any out of co uh, pocket cost for anybody in this community or across the state. In certain locations, you may be asked for your health insurance card. That health insurance card is asked for because certain providers are billing health insurance for the administration cost, and they are allowed to do that. Um, that health insurance um, company cannot come to you to pay for any of the costs associated with vaccine, and the provider themselves cannot charge you for any costs related to vaccination. So do remember, that any of the avenues that you go to, um, that vaccine is for you free of cost. Again, online appointments are the easiest and fastest way to get vaccinated. If you're able to do that, please do use the online options that are listed on our website. Um, there are many other ways though to help support those that online options might be difficult. If you are someone in the community that can help a family member, a friend, a neighbor, please do that. Um, you can also call our COVID hotline and um, get some assistance with um, figuring out how to find a vaccine appointment. Um, and the Aging and Disability Resource Center is also helping. Um, there are many other ways, and each of our providers is also providing ways that they have phone numbers to call. So do look um, for that and help people navigate that um, as much as you're able to. Please also make one appointment and keep that appointment. Um, it does create challenges when people make appointments and then don't follow through and keep their appointments. Um, vaccine is a really precious commodity across the nation and we need to get every vaccine in arms. We do a set number of appointments with the vaccine we have available as do all other vaccine providers. And it makes a difference when someone doesn't show up. So please show up for the appointments that you have. Our health department clinic then I'll jump into. So starting today at one o'clock, we started giving vaccine at Zorn Arena in partnership with UW Eau Claire, with our federal partners in FEMA, and with our Wisconsin National Guard partners and others in the state. So first, an enormous thank you to all those partners that are working together to make this mass vaccination location at Zorn Arena happen does mean that we will get dedicated state supply of vaccine, 3,500 doses a week coming into Eau Claire for this regional site. This site was placed by the state in this location to be really a regional resource for people across the Western side of the state to have a place to go to, to get vaccine. We are getting Pfizer vaccine there, which does allow us to vaccinate 16 and 17 year olds, as well as all of the other um, populations that currently are eligible for vaccine. Um, we will be doing 700 first doses a day, Tuesday through Saturday, um, moving forward. We will start those second doses of vaccine three weeks out. And so at that point in time, we'll be doing 1400 doses of vaccine a day at this location. And it may increase if there's more vaccine available at a state level. Anybody that lives, works, or studies in Wisconsin can get a vaccination at this location. This is not just for UW Eau Claire connected people. This is not just for Eau Claire County connected people. This is a regional resource and we expect to see people from across the region. When I left the site today, I 
saw a person that was waiting in line and they said that they had traveled a little distance to get to the site. They were excited to get in line and vaccinated. And that's what this location is there for. Um, it's a big lift, a heavy lift for this community and all of the partners, City of Eau Claire, Eau Claire County, and all the partners that have worked on this. So again, my enormous thanks to people for that effort. It also is exciting to have vaccine at this level available at this location, in addition to all of our healthcare locations and pharmacy locations as well. To make an appointment for this site, please go online. You can find it in the health department section of our COVID-19 Eau Claire vaccination page, that page where you again click for vaccine appointments. If you look for the health department tab, you'll see how to sign up for that appointment. It's easy. It's a simple um, sign up at vaccinate.wi.gov. You can also go directly to that location. Again, vaccinate.wi.gov. When you put in some basic information that we need in order to have a vaccination record, um, when you get that information in, you'll get to a site immediately where you can sign up for an appointment. And there are appointments available next week. So Tuesday through Saturday, we have many appointments available. We want you to sign up. So please go there and get an appointment. If you are someone that needs assistance with getting an appointment, either because of language barriers or challenges with the internet and using an online site, please call the state hotline number. That number is 844 684-1064. The person at the end of that line can help you sign up directly for an appointment, and they can also quickly have available resources for you in other languages if English is not your first language. They will help you navigate that um, appointment process and get you an appointment. In this appointment system, for again, the um, website that I talked about, the vaccinate.wi.gov, you will be asked if you need extra assistance with mobility issues or issues in order to get walking through this mass vaccination location. You'll also be asked if you have any language barriers. We will be meeting the needs of individuals with mobility issues or language um, needs um, on site. So do know that this is a site that is, again, welcoming and situated for people that need any sort of assistance like that. Please let us know so we can be prepared to make that happen. Good news in Eau Claire that today we started at this location. We are making progress across the community with vaccination. We now have 62,048 doses given of COVID-19 vaccine to Eau Claire County residents to date which is an amazingly large amount, an increase of 11,591 doses since last week, Thursday. Again, that happens with the partnership of all of those vaccine providers that I mentioned earlier, but it's nearly two times um, more than what we did the week before. That was because we had more vaccine in our community. We do know that it has been recently announced that we will have significantly less vaccine coming into Wisconsin next uh, next week, um, and that's related to supply of Johnson & Johnson, as well as some supply issues related to Pfizer. We understand that Wisconsin will be getting less vaccine, and that means Eau Claire County will also be getting less vaccine to some of our locations we're anticipating. But good news that last week we had lots of shots in arms given. 38,723 people have at least one dose. 37% of our Eau Claire County population has gotten at least one dose of COVID-19, and 25% of our population has completed the series. So they've either gotten the one dose of Johnson & Johnson, or they've completed the two-dose series. 72% of 65 uh, individuals 65 and older have completed the series. And again, that's really good news. We still have a ways to go. Some communities have gotten well over 80% of their 65 and older population vaccinated, and we need to have that same goal in Eau Claire. So I really push all of you to say, how can you help us with that? We want to be a county like other counties in the state that has their 65 plus population as fully vaccinated as we can be. So work on that this week, everybody. Find someone that you know that's over that age and help them get to a vaccine location um, so that they can be vaccinated as well. 
So with that, um, I will remind you of the COVID-19 Claire.org website. Also our call center number, which is 715-831-7425. And we'll ask Audrey about any questions that are um, in the queue for me uh, that have been typed in. No questions in the chat box today. Would any of our media partners online like to unmute and ask a question directly? All right. With that, thank you, everyone. We will be back next week, Thursday. I hope people have a successful week and go get an appointment to get vaccinated. Thank you.